Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. My name is Jesse Haworth. I'm a technical support engineer here at Hawk Ridge Systems. This video is part of our technical support series and today we'll be taking a look at how to deactivate and transfer your standalone SolidWorks license to another machine. So by using the license transfer utility that is built into SolidWorks, you are able to quickly deactivate your standalone license so that it can be used on another system. This can be useful if you have two machines that you use SolidWorks on regularly, such as a work and home machine. To get started, simply launch SOLIDWORKS on the machine where your license is currently active. Note that if you have multiple versions of the software installed in parallel, you will need to launch the most up-to-date version that is on your system. Once SOLIDWORKS has fully launched, proceed to the Help drop-down menu. The option we will be looking for here will change depending on what version of the software you have installed. SOLIDWORKS 2016 and newer, the option to select is Deactivate Licenses, as shown here. For SOLIDWORKS 2015 and older, the option we will be looking for is listed as Transfer Licenses. To proceed, simply select whichever option is listed for you, which will launch the SOLIDWORKS Deactivation window. From here, you will see a list of licenses that are currently installed. If there are multiple licenses listed here, you can choose to deactivate individual products by selecting them. If you wish to deactivate all of your licenses, or if you only see a single product listed, click on Select All. Under the How Would You Like to Deactivate section, choose Automatically Over the Internet if you have an internet connection. If you do not have an internet connection, click on Manually via Email and the next steps will walk you through how to deactivate your license. Under the contact information field, you can put whichever email works best for you since there is not a specific email address that is required. Once you've selected your options, click Next, which will start the license transfer process. You should see a short transferring window here. And once this new window appears that indicates your deactivation has succeeded, simply click on Finish. At this point, your SOLIDWORKS is fully deactivated from this system. We are now able to activate another system, or we can reactivate this particular machine if we choose. To activate SOLIDWORKS, simply launch the software on the system that you wish to activate. You will receive a product activation window that asks if you would like to activate your product. Select the Activate option and click Next. As was the case with the deactivation process, we can try to activate individual licenses or all licenses listed. After a short time frame, you should see a screen that indicates the reactivation has succeeded. Click Finish on this screen and SOLIDWORKS should fully launch. One issue that can occur during the reactivation process is the error pictured here that states the activation count of your license has been exceeded. This error indicates that the license is currently active on another machine and that it must be transferred away from that machine before you are able to activate the software on a new PC. If you're running into this or any other issues during the deactivation and reactivation process, or if you have any questions regarding the activation of your license, please feel free to contact your SOLIDWORKS reseller for further assistance. Thanks everyone for joining us today. I hope this was helpful. Please feel free to check out our other YouTube videos or go to our website for more troubleshooting tips and tricks. Have a great day.